Ten new laws are going into effect in North Carolina on July the 1st, so today on Dig Into It, we're going to look at some of the most important ones that impact you. First up, a few election law changes. Senate Bill 747 tries to clean up some voter registration rules. The bill states that the state and county board of elections must maintain a list of eligible voters. Now, this also states that the list be updated frequently when voters become ineligible, such as by death or conviction of a felony. This section of the bill was part of a larger election law that was passed last year. You'll remember it's the law that required photo ID at all polling stations. Plus, the law removed a grace period for mail-in ballots. Now all mail-in votes must reach the elections office by election day. Governor Roy Cooper had issued a veto of this bill, saying that it prevents people from voting. Republicans in state Congress overrode that veto thanks to their supermajority. Now, rules to make sure that dead people are not eligible to vote brings up an interesting question. What happens if a person is sent in their absentee ballot, but then they died before the election? Well, let's verify. Our sources, Michael Dickerson, Board of Elections Director for Mecklenburg County, and the National Conference of State Legislatures. So different states have different rules about this. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, these 10 states have statutes that prohibit counting absentee ballots for voters who die before Election Day. These nine states have statutes that allow counting these ballots. Other states fall somewhere in between. In North Carolina, Dickerson says an early ballot cast by someone who later dies can be set aside if a challenge is filed before Election Day. They had already voted during an absentee process, uh, then if I have that official notification, then I have to remove that ballot. He says there are protocols which require official notification to nullify a ballot. I have to follow everything. Uh, I can't just start willy-nilly taking people off of the records. If someone dies close to the election, it can take time for death records to be updated, and there is a small window between when the ballot is cast and counted. But Dickerson says there have been some challenges in the county when people die before the election. However, he says it's very rare. It's not happened a lot, um, and if you know anybody can challenge that in the absentee process, uh, but if, if it does, it, it, it can happen. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg. Senate Bill 615 deals with anyone using electronic notaries. Now, this demands that all electronic notaries keep records of any remote electronic notarization in what's called an electronic journal. The electronic journal will be the exclusive property of the, own, the notary, which this is the key point. No one else is allowed to make any kind of entry into the electronic journal. House Bill 674 impacts children and families who use children's advocacy centers in our state. Part of the law affects how information of children in an advocacy center is shared. The law says a department may share any information that is relevant to the protection of a child with a multidisciplinary team. And that team includes positions like a health care provider, an attorney, and a victim advocate. This information may include things like a child's medical evaluation and interviews. The law dictates that the information will remain private except to the people involved in the case. The law also outlines extensive rules required by child advocacy centers to receive state funding. They must follow the rules like maintaining a healthy space for children, conducting children interviews, and keeping proper records. Well, so far we've outlined just about three of the laws, but there are more laws that are going into effect starting next month. You can also find a complete list of all North Carolina laws on the North Carolina General Assembly website as well. Now, after July 1st, no new laws go into effect in our state for the next few months. As of right now, the new laws are scheduled into, to go into effect in October. These laws deal with the North Carolina Health and Human Services Workforce Act, insurance laws, and predatory roofing business practices. We'll dig into those at a later date. Thanks for joining us on Dig Into It. To learn more about these new North Carolina laws going live on July 1st, WF